Is there a way to fix the problem of restaurants being late with their food and us having to stand around for too long to get an order to the customer? Let's talk about that. My name is John from Ride Upstate, and I was recently watching a video by John Dash and over at Dash DoorDash Theory, and he presented this idea of there needs to be a way within the algorithm, within the system, in order to deal with restaurants that are late with the food. Because a lot of times what can happen with the tablet is an employee at the restaurant can select that the food is ready, someone shows up, and they haven't even started preparing the food yet. Or it's so busy that they're behind. So how do we handle this problem with lateness? John proposed that we could fine the restaurants. In other words, take more of a percentage from their orders. I don't really like that idea. I think the smaller restaurants are paying too much right now and DoorDash is making too much off of those orders as it stands. And I don't think that's going to happen with their larger partners like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, these larger chain restaurants. In fact, at McDonald's, they don't even have tablets. DoorDash integrates with their online ordering system. And so it just shows up on their board. You're never going to be able to manage that situation. And, and I don't know if this proposal would help or not with the major chains but I think it would help with the smaller mom and pop restaurants who just sometimes they just get overwhelmed and it's, it's not their fault that people want food from them. It's not their fault that they're popular, but they sometimes don't realize how quickly orders can come in and how quickly they can get behind when it comes to online orders, especially right now, restaurants are opening back up. New York is fully open now. We have no restrictions here. And so they're going to have dining rooms full of customers who they need to get food to. And they're going to have people ordering food online that they're going to need to get food to. So what's the solution? So my proposal is a kind of timeout. John, in, his, in the comment section of his video, referred to it as a tablet timeout. So here's what would happen. If within an hour three dashers show up and select that they have arrived and have not picked up the order within 10 minutes, then their orders get suspended for 15 minutes. So three times in one hour, people show up, the orders aren't ready, it takes more than 10 minutes, they get suspended. They're not allowed to receive orders for 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes, they can start receiving orders again. And what will happen is if within, an, if within another hour, the same thing happens. Three people, three dashers mark that they've arrived. They wait more than 10 minutes. Now the suspension is for 30 minutes. If it happens a third time after that 30 minute session, then what would happen is now they're suspended for an hour. Can't take any online orders for an hour. Customers would be notified that the restaurant is not available for mobile orders and that they could wait and try again, or they could, you know, call the restaurant and order or go in themselves. So what happens if it happens a fourth time? Let's say we're talking about between like five and 10 o'clock at night. After a fourth time, if their orders get suspended, the restaurant needs to contact DoorDash in order to get online orders rolling again. And it would be explained to them that, hey, look, you are consistently getting orders out late. We've got drivers showing up who want to deliver food to the customers. They're waiting excessive amounts of time. The customers are getting their food late. And so clearly you can't keep up with the number of orders so you either need to retrain your staff to make sure they're not marking the food as ready, or you need to slow down 
the number of orders that you can do online. Another suggestion that kind of just popped into my head was the restaurants could put in their app a limit. Hey, we're only going to do 10 mobile orders an hour. And once they hit that 10th order, when that 11th person comes along, it says, hey, mobile orders aren't available for this restaurant. Please try back later. This is really important for not only the dashers, but the customers. The customers want their food on time. They don't want to have to wait two or three hours. The dashers don't want to have to stand around waiting for the food to be prepared. And it's good for DoorDash as well, because instead of people waiting at restaurants for food, they could be out delivering food. Now, we won't even get into the idea of pay and all that. I am of the persuasion that if a dasher arrives at a restaurant and the food isn't ready, they should immediately get a bump in pay as well as this kind of timeout type thing for the restaurant. If I have to stand around for 10 or 15 minutes for an order, I should get paid for that. I'm not getting paid to stand around. I'm getting paid to deliver food. So that 10 or 15 minutes that I'm waiting for an order is cutting into my pay. And it's also cutting into DoorDash's efficiency because they can't deliver food while I'm standing around waiting for food. So just a couple of ideas. I'd love to hear what you think. I'm not doing a lot of DoorDash orders these days. Like I said in a previous video, I'm stopping delivering food because of the insurance needs. I'll occasionally take an order, but it's not very often. I just want to make sure I'm aware of what's happening in the app and the changes that are going on in the app. I'd love to hear your thoughts again on what you think about this proposal of putting the restaurants in a timeout if they exceed wait times if orders are late because drivers are waiting to pick up the food, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. My name is John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.